It's the Immigration Law Show on Mirchi brought to you by the Shah Peer Ali Law Group immigration experts right here in Newark California and of course I'm talking to Shah Peer Ali its founder and managing attorney and Shah you know we are of course in Silicon Valley in the land of entrepreneurship so question that comes up immigration and the entrepreneurial spirit what are the visas for bringing back business to the US Very interesting question too. Um unfortunately um there is one good visa when it comes to to that is called the E2 visa but it doesn't apply to India but I'll still go over it because if you were you have citizenship in another country like Australia, Canada, etc you can benefit from it. So I will talk about it. The first one is the E2 visa. Usually the E2 visa is um a visa for people who invest in the United States. and uh, have some kind of marginal contribution and uh, the investment is usually between 100,000 and up but uh, the bad news about it it doesn't lead to any green card so mm-hmm. you don't really have it but there's an interesting visa which is not an investor visa that you can use efficiently as a as an investor visa is the L1A visa the L1A is an intra transfer of employees however if you have your own company for example in india and you're opening a branch in the us we can use the l1a as an interesting visa to make it an investor visa and ultimately the great thing with an l1a it, it leads you to a green card mm-hmm. so always look into that and you can call us if you need help on those uh, we'll be glad to help you uh, on the l1a visas um they are interesting visas it requires number 1 that you are um you are basically kind of uh, an executive or in a managerial role of your, of the company abroad yeah. mm-hmm. and then and then ultimately yeah uh, from india or some other countries even if you're indian citizen you might have a company in singapore for example but you need to work there physically for one year uh, in that role and the company cannot close down when you come here you still have to have certain number of employees there operating you open a branch here in the US and then we transfer you the company doesn't have to be existent in the US by the way we can open it and show business plan we will open it mm-hmm. and then we can do your l1a but you need to be careful whatever you put in the business plan you better meet the requirements otherwise they will never uh, they will never renew that l1a mm-hmm. it's usually given for 2 years and nice. then later it can go up to 7 years But the great news with the L1A is that it leads to the EB1C which is a green card part with the same requirements. Mm-hmm. So it's one stone you kill two birds with uh-huh. the L1A. I see. Now there's another one called EB5 where they invest $500,000 or $1 million where they get basically their um it's almost like buying your green card. Mm-hmm. The problem with this program is that I don't handle it um because Not because I don't know how to handle it is because I don't trust it. A lot of people have been burned with the system because they end up by buying projects that never because they give you what we call a conditional green card with it and if your company goes belly up yeah. somehow you also go belly up you lose the money and the green card oh within gosh. in the next 2 to 3 years. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people I know do only that because it's a lot of money involved uh and uh Trump's uh Sony law was doing that and um but a lot of them also if you go online you will see a lot of people have been burned with those projects mm-hmm. so i just mention it here it's not something i recommend although a lot of people also got their green card through it yeah i personally don't handle it because of exactly that reason because i don't trust that system so mm-hmm. these are yeah. the main ones now if you're just coming to look for prospect of business the easy one is a b1 visa but right now you know you're not getting an appointment for that in india yes. so if you're from other countries you can get it but not india mm-hmm. so those uh, are the basic ones yeah thank you for that and of course uh, folks if you are curious about the investor visa of course you have to proceed with caution but you find yourself stuck in that immigration law maze 
get the right advice and direction from the Sharpeer Ali Law Group. They're just a phone call away. Call them today at 510-742-5887 or log on to peeralilaw.com. That's P-E-E-R-A-L-L-Y-L-A-W.com. And they also have a YouTube channel which is current, relevant and up to date with everything immigration. That's Sharpeer Ali Law. That's the, the handle. So subscribe to that. And the conversation continues. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Keep listening to Mirchi. It's hot.